Hey guys, today I'm going to show you one of my favourite knots for mechanical jigging and heavier line, sort of around 50 to 80 pound braid, joining it to maybe 80 to 130 pound mono, is generally what I normally do, and that would be the FG knot. It's a nice slimline knot and perfect for sliding through your guides on your rod, and it is an extremely strong knot, I have yet to have one break, no matter how hard I pull. And this is our sample knot, the FG knot. This is one I just cut off my jigging rod. It's been used a bit recently, so it's a bit roughed up, but you get the idea. It's a nice streamlined knot going from mono to braid, and it is extremely strong. Right, I'll show you how to tie it. Right, so here we have our braid, and what you want to do is put this end in your mouth. You want the other end of the rod somewhere where it's going to be held tight, like a rod holder. I've just got my rod laying on the floor at the moment, and that will do for now. Alright, what we want to do is we want to grab the braid tag end, and we're going to hold that in our mouth. And then we want to grab the mono. And once we've got the mono tag end, we want to lay that over the braid, just like that. Now pinch it lightly, and on the side furthest away from us, we want to go under, then over, and pull it tight, form a loop like that. And then the same on the side closest to us, under and over, and pull it tight, like that. So you go under and over, pull it tight, and then the opposite side, under, over, pull it tight, then repeat that, under, over, pull it tight, yeah, under, over, pull it tight, and we want to do that about 20 times, over, pull it tight, under, over, pull it tight. Right, and once we have done that roughly 20 times, you'll end up with something looking like this. It's a little bit sloppy up this side, but it's a bit hard to hold for the camera. You get the idea. You want them laying all flat like that. And so once we're at this stage here, we now want to grab the main line of the braid, lay it down against the leader, like that. We want to grab the tag end of the braid, flip it over the top, and then you want to bring it down here, and a bit like a uni knot, but this is called a risotto. You want to loop that through five or six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we want to lay this tag end down by the knot and just pinch it there. And once we've got the tag end laying down up by the knot, we want to reverse these loops. So we basically we also want to keep it all tidy as we go. go one, two. Three, four, five, six, and now we should be able to pull our tag end of the braid through here. And that will in turn 
tighten up and finish our knot. Should lay nice and flat like you see there. Okay, so once we've got our knot looking nice and tidy like that, we want to spit on it and lube it up a little bit just so that you don't burn the knot when you're tightening it. And then first pull will be our braid tag end and the braid main line. Just go tight on there, not too tight. Just enough to set the knot and tighten it down on the main line. And then the next pull will be the braid main line and the leader. And you really need gloves for this depending on what size line you're using obviously. The heavier line you're definitely going to need gloves otherwise the braid will cut your hand. I'll just use my shirt for the purpose of this video. And you want to lay the braid in your hand so it's not crossing over each other and not going to cut itself. Give that a bit of a pull. You don't want to go full strength on it just yet. And then you want to go back to your braid and your braid tag end. Give that a bit of a pull again. And then once again go back to the braid main line and your mono give that a good pull and basically what you want to be looking for is for the knot to change colour slightly down there as it clamps down on the mono and once you've done that your knot is pretty much sorted and now what we want to do next, once we've got our completed knot, to finish off these tag ends for the braid side, you want to just put a basic knot in here and you want this knot to be as close to the FG knot as you can get it. So it can be hard to do. But you just want to get that as close down there as you can before coming up tight on it. And once you've got that tight, give the braid a snip. And to help prevent all the fluffiness, I just usually like to Mount the end of the braid up to the knot and now that will stay nice and tidy and you won't end up with a fluffy mess on your knot. And now for the mono side you want to cut fairly close to the FG maybe 4mm away and some people like to burn it, other people don't. They say it gets rid of these sharp ends of the mono. But if you're not going to burn it, you can probably cut closer, maybe 2 or 3 mil away from the knot. But if you are going to burn it, you want to go at least 4 mil and wet the knot as to not burn the braid. Pinch it down in your fingers. Get your lighter. You just want to mount the end of the mono so that it curves over. And that is it. That is our completed FG knot. The mounted end of the mono can also help stop the braid slipping over the end of the mono. It's not really necessary in my books, but for some people it's a little bit of added precaution helps the knot stop slipping and yeah that's it for all your jigging or heavy braid to mono connections the FG knot is the way to go thanks for watching the video guys be sure to drop a like and leave a comment 
feel free to click around here if you want to see some more videos and remember to click the subscribe button to keep up to date with any of my future videos.